Hi from Beloy town, Ataura Island, Timor-Leste. I just arrived from Dili uh, this morning uh, to the hotel called Beloy Beach Hotel. I was looking on the internet on agodabooking.com uh, about hotels here. On Agoda or Booking, I found only two options, hotel options, which is very simple, no air conditioning, nothing, and no transportation. So transportation was a big question, how to get there. Because it's only one boat, a public one, goes every Saturday, which is today. Yeah, but how to get back next day? It's a big question. On Google Maps, I start looking for hotels and found this Beloy Beach Hotel and I went to their website, it's a basic website, but they have email and phone numbers, so I emailed them and discussed on transportation, on uh, all the options. So what do they offer to me is uh, for 235 US dollars, they uh provide all the transportation at 7 30 in the morning from Dili to Beloy town to this town the hotel is is up there where flag is this hotel provides transportation food breakfast lunch dinner and next morning breakfast and lunch i think and then you go back to Dili next day at 2 pm this included in $235. So we've been contacting through emails and they asked uh, which hotel I'm staying on my first night in Dili and they will come and collect the uh, deposit uh, around $100, $200, dollars, I don't remember. But eventually when I came to Dili, they just say just, they still don't know whether to collect or not and I just say, yeah, just come to my hotel, Hotel Dili, uh, or Hotel Timor in Dili. So one person came and he asked how much you want to pay. I said, just $235 I pay late, I don't know why. And so it's quite interesting uh, system. So this person came and just collected money and gave me some sort of receipt, what's included. And that's it. It's a very basic uh, payment. And then I will pay $35 later in the evening in, at the hotel itself. And that's it. It worked out. I'm here. Here's the hotel on the hill with nice beautiful flags. And this is the town of Beloy over here. And this you can see it's more or less the mainland. Okay. back to hotel let's explore the island Atauro Timor Leste let's go yeah so this is the island of Atauro this is Beloy so I'm somewhere over here uh, the hotel and Beloy is also a port so all the ships and boats they go to Beloy. Dili is just 30, 30 kilometers south from this island. So the trip from Dili takes uh, one and a half hour. Uh, so it's 35 roughly, 35 kilometers to Beloy. This is Villa Maometa, some local uh, village, the most popular. So it's 20 minutes by Tuk Tuk. Uh, four dollars return trip from Beloy. This is the highest mountain which you can hike, Manukoko. And this is another uh, town, Bikeli and Akriama. So I'm going here after lunch. And over here uh, after chicken. So only me today as a as a tourist, right? Alone, no other people. Yeah. 
This is the church with the Protestant. Oh, church? Yes, yes. Protestant church, right? Yes. The Catholic family is the villa. Catholic in villa, right? Yes. Ah, oh, so this is Protestant yes. uh, people and uh, on the southern part where villa is, is yeah. uh, Catholic. Interesting. Oh, Merry Christmas, I think. Yes. Merry Christmas. <laughs> but we yes, are uh, so we coming to come the Merry Christmas. Uh -huh. This is the main road of Beloit town, just beside the beach. This is supermarket where you can buy SIM cards. And this is the main pier. And this is the Beloit beach. So they waiting to, since today is Saturday, they're waiting for the boat back. Which is once a week, every Saturday. But I also heard it's on Monday as well, but not sure. But Saturday confirm have one. Oh, and this is police office. Uh -huh. Local shop. Oh, can buy SIM card here? Yes. Okay. Tourism Information Center. Yes. And this is a local market. Yeah, from there, at the island. By the beach. Yes. This is the fresh tea. Mm -hmm. Fresh fish. Yes. They just caught it. Maometa is basically uh, the final destination is some local shop with handcrafted bags, toys made by locals and so you can buy something local and an Italian restaurant, a guest house. So that's it in the end destination. But it's not a bad trip itself. You can see the local houses, how the local lives, police station, churches and just nice scenery. So not a bad trip to this uh, villa, even it takes 20 minutes one way and costs 4 US dollars, a return trip for the same tuk-tuker. Yeah, still worth it, another way to explore the island of Atauro. Okay, going to Akrema beach now, it's on the northernmost point of Atauro island. It takes around one hour to get there by boat with uh, clear waters and clear sand. This is our boat. 
And this is public ferry, right? Yes. To, to Dili. Yes. And this is northernmost point of the beach. So behind those rocks is another most point of Timor Leste of Atauro Island. And apparently you cannot go to the northern tip. This is the northernmost you can get to. That's it. Enter the road and end of Timor Leste from north. Ta-da! So it's around 50 kilometers to mainland and this is Indonesian islands already local people and their we houses the oh we can visit yes. wow. they have the best beach in the world hi Boat? Yes, the, the, the local boat. Yes, this is the best the beach. Sure. Ah, sea yes. seaweed. Yeah. There's a local people uh, living there in a shelter like this. So this is another village. Yes. So this is Bikeli Beach yes. between Arema, Akrema, beach, Akrema, not Akrema, Akrema, Akrema yeah. Beach, yeah. and Beloy. Yeah. In between, some beach and village, but not that clean water. Yeah. But got so only the more less the the more less the flag. Look, the more less the boat. <laughs> yeah. Bike accessible by road from Beloy. Yes, no, no, no. Uh, from Beloy by bike. Yes. So it took three hours. Yeah, three hours. Three hours to get yeah. to this beach, to village and back. Yeah. Yeah. And next four days. And now yeah. we can see sunset at some sunset. lookout point. Yeah. 5 p.m. already. And sunset and at 6. After uh, tomorrow morning. Yeah. 6.17. 6 and sunset at 6.33. So we can catch sunset at a lookout point. Main road. There's the lookout for sunset. Just seven, eight minutes from hotel. Hi. Hello. So it's a shortcut to save time. I don't mind. I am full of energy after <laughs> these blue waters energized by coral reef Stunning view Atauro 
and this volcanic rocks, right? That is Mount Coco Mountain. Yeah, this peak, 996 meters, right? Yeah. Okay, this is scenic lookout. Wow. So clouds are exactly at one kilometer. Because this mountain is 996, yeah. so just exactly at one kilometer. Oh. And another view. Well, I think so this is sunrise view already, because this is east side. Here will be sunrise. Yeah. Yeah. But we can see sunrise from hotel. Yeah, yeah. But tomorrow. Yes. So sunrise at six something. So this area has a lot of land mines yeah. here because of cows. A lot of cows. So they left some land mines. Look at the colors. See? Color. Oh, so it's dark pink. Yeah. Yeah, and air so fresh here. Okay, stairs left yeah. and we reached hotel up there on the hill. Way. <laughs> Very dark. But flashlight yeah. helps. Okay, stairs. Watch the stairs. Finish dinner and now sleep and wake up to see sunrise because it's facing east the hotel. Good night. Good morning from Atawa Island. Let's catch sunrise. 5:39 a.m. Sunrise at 6:05. 20 more minutes is right over there sunrise was perfect it was just in front of me so I was just sitting on the chair and watching it without phone and anything also I was told by hotel management that uh, sea is quite rough after lunch so we're gonna depart for Dili at 10 a.m. instead of 2 p.m. so I'm gonna skip lunch at the hotel which is okay, can explore Dili more today and there's also one activity which I haven't went to is a hiking on Mount Manukoko, the highest peak at Ataura Island at 996 meters if, if I can recall correctly it's over there behind those hills at the southern end of the island so I'm in the middle roughly so this mountain takes around four hours to climb or to do some hiking from hotel to to the top to the summit and since uh, we are leaving at 10 a.m. in the morning uh, management was quite reluctant to give me a guide and go together to the peak so because it's too rush so I just, I didn't push them and it was okay. I 
stay for sunrise. I saw mountain already from this villa and while approaching the island by boat. So that's enough for me exploring island. I saw quite a lot, enjoyed it. And now I just walking in a village and exploring more as much as possible. So mountain is okay not to go to. Enjoy Tatawura Island a lot and keep enjoying it right now and preparing to go back to Dili now. Okay, that's it for Tatawura. I had a bit of sleep before leaving. This is the main road. Oh, I see new tourists who came at 7.30. They just arrived. That's my boat. This is Beloy Beach. And this is the final minutes of me in Atawura Island. That's it, my one day with a little bit came to an end. Come to Atawura Island and explore. And don't forget a lot of sunscreen because sun is very, very intense. Okay, let's have a one and a half hour boat ride. Okay, 11.35 am and I'm back from this beautiful island of Atauro with a population of 10,000 people. So it took me 28 hours to uh, start from this point, 7.30 am yesterday and get back by 11.35 am next day. So 28 hours but supposed to be 32, depends on weather conditions. So water is quite rough after lunch as I was told. So, full price for me it was $235 uh, including the food, including the transportation and one night in air-conditioned room and plus I paid uh, $70 US for the trip to this beautiful Akrema beach so initially I thought it's 17 and I agreed but when we came back I gave them $20 bill and they say no no 70 so for three hour trip $70 is quite a robbery yeah because of because of not, not many tourist companies there to provide this service yeah so total bill for this trip 28 hours is $305 uh, US dollars yeah okay and now it's noon I have whole day in Delhi exploring this beautiful country and tomorrow going to Baokao and then another day to Maubise so yeah that's it for Atawura Island maybe I will come back one day <laughs>